Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is Rogue Tarot. We're getting right into your July monthly love forecast, Pisces. Let's see what comes out in regards to love. You have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth and worth exploring, Pisces. Uh oh, have you guys met someone new? You feel like this person is your soulmate? This could definitely be confirmation that yes, they are. The feelings that they have for you are growing, or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. We also have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life so that you can meet your soulmate for some of you. You've been in a lot of debt and in relationships and, and you're like, when is my time coming, Rogue? Well, we have very soon. Clear the sight what you want so that it comes to you now. And I'm going to pull this. Also, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, Pisces. So take off this mask. Someone is wearing a false self mask here. And I feel like this is your spirit guides calling you out. It's like you want someone to have romantic feelings for you. You want this soulmate energy, but are you treating your own self as your own soulmate? Also, you know, we're also saying free yourself from your past, right? Take a, take back control of your life. Clear the side on what you want, because if, if you want a soulmate connection to come in, you have to manifest that and also believe in that. You have to put in the work. It's also saying for the rest of July here, you could potentially meet a soulmate. They may be different from your usual type and expectations, Pisces. So don't run away when this person comes in. They might be a little younger than you, but not by a lot. For some of you, that is your deal breaker to date someone younger, but it's giving you anxiety. But this person has a lot of potential, right? From the Page of Wands to the King of Wands to this Two of Cups, this can definitely... Um, and in a very great outcome here with the four of swords, don't overthink it, Pisces. Again, there is a full moon and Capricorn coming in um, tomorrow, Tuesday. So it's time for you to plan a goal, take an action. What do, what do you really want, Pisces? And plan. Full moon and Capricorn is all about releasing procrastination and actually planning, you know, the rest of the year ahead. What do we really want, okay? Again, this is someone coming in communicating with you that, you know, they have done the work, they have done, they have matured, but I'm getting this energy. There's a cancer or fire sign energy that has disappointed you in the past, and you're not really sure if you even want this back. So you're definitely getting an offer for somebody. Someone is thinking about you very hard here, Pisces. So clarify the page of wands. And this could also be you anxious about, like, you're feeling intuitively, Pisces, that there's a soulmate or energy around that you don't really know yet, but you know it's coming. This person, it might be, um, it might come as kind of chaotic a little bit with the page of wands showing up twice. You're going to be um, uh, marrying each other. You might meet this person at a sporting event or you have met this person at a sporting event or through like a work event, like not your coworker, but outside of work. It could be your coworker. Um, this is someone from your past that wants to come in and work things out, but you're so focused on work and your goals, Pisces, you're kind of unbothered here. You know, you free yourself for some of you. We do have the nine of swords with the nine of pentacles. Yeah, the seven of wands and the ten of cups in reverse. Some of you are anxious to share your world with someone. This could be the engagement, you know, you're, you guys have recently become engaged, you know, and it's like, oh man, like I'm, I'm nervous. Don't be this, yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> for some of you, Pisces, if you're not in a, a long relationship, for for my single Pisces, this is why Spirit is saying to clear decide what you want so that it comes to you soon. Because the Ten of Cups is in reverse. You're not believing that you can get this Ten of Cups, Pisces. You know, you're single, living your life. You have everything you want and need, and you're you know something you were asking your friends when. This could also be someone asking their friends about you. Someone is really ready to share their world with you right now. They made a bad decision in the past. For some of you, you just want to move forward. You're Again, you're going to come across a new suitor very soon that could lead to marriage. We have the Hierophant here. What is this energy that Pisces is struggling with for July, love? There's a Cancer that's like really heavy and remorse about you if you're dealing with one. We have heart with the key. Yeah. You're nervous about opening your heart again, welcoming love, getting together perfect. It's coming in and you're nervous about it. We have the four of pentacles in reverse here. So we have the two of pentacles, eight of pentacles, and the seven of wands. An apology, someone's letting their guard down. Uh, I know it's a love forecast Pisces, but um, budget, you're overspending a lot online shopping here. 
what this Pisces needs to focus on for the rest of July when it comes to love, that a new start is coming. Yeah, you can feel it. And I, I, I'm getting a vibe that you feel it too. You're just scared here. Communication is key. Speak up on what you want and how you feel her, Pisces. And then we have, it's time to release negativity. Yeah, those negative thoughts. Free yourself from this merry-go-round in your head, Pisces, okay? It's time to take back control of your life because someone is about to offer you something huge. Clarify the king of wands. It's a courteous energy. And it's it's also like they're going to, um, you guys are going to marry each other to, to where it's like, I've been through the same things and this is how you guys are going to bond, you know, and talk about things, but someone is going to apologize to you. Yeah. I feel like you have them blocked for some of you. Clarify the seven of cups in reverse. You have completely taken your emotions away, definitely, Pisces, if you're dealing with the past person. As some of you, Pisces, you are feeling blocked. Your Queen of Cups is sitting, sitting here in reverse your energy and the Empress energy. You know, it's time for you to grind yourselves for the rest of uh, July. You know, a new start is coming. Could be around two more weeks around the next new moon, but this is the full moon. This is about you releasing um, any pent-up energy that is holding you back from the past. Trust your intuition and ground yourself. It's time to take care of your Pisces self Pisces so that these cards can come back upright again okay you're you're blocking yourself from this beautiful attractive king of wands that is the person that you're meant to be with because you have to be able to take care of yourself first Pisces okay I always stress that in all my readings someone wants a second chance we have patience everything will unfold in divine timing and then we have unavailable this person is unavailable to give you all that you deserve so Take it how it resonates, okay? I feel like you know this, and and, and, and I feel like this is an X, right? Like, you know this person is, isn't able to give you all that you deserve. They want a second chance, but I feel like you're going to block them and say, no, like, I'm, I'm trying to heal. You know, we have the Two of Cups, the Three of Wands, and Temperance Energy, Sagittarius. There's a lesson that needs to be learned before you meet your counterpart, and that's having patience and the belief that you can manifest exactly what you want. Communication is key is here because you need to talk to your spirit guides, your angels, pray about what you really want and what you want to manifest. The three of wands is in reverse because you're waiting on something that's not that's never going to come in because you don't really know what you want. So take this two-week period to really know what you want, right? Find time to laugh and goof off. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy this you know, person that you're dating, taking it slow for some of you. You're disappointed in things not working out. Am I ever going to get married? You know, yes, you, you, you will. You are. They have, you have to release these negative thoughts of how you feel about love, Pisces, okay? We have the chariot in reverse. There's also a Taurus. I'm going to see what this Taurus is thinking about. They're thinking about how much they took advantage of you for dealing with the Taurus. And they're kind of getting over how harsh they were. But it's, they're not going to come forward right now for some of you. Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot. Yeah, the well is turning for you, Pisces, but you have to set goals and what you really want. Um, there's stability, stability that's needed here with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Deciding on what you really want and working on that, okay? And that, I mean with the Page of Pentacles, actually drawing out a map and, you know, taking out the time to plan. Because this is coming in very, very, very fast. I'm getting in about two weeks here. You're going to manifest exactly what you want, but you have to, again, be able to decide this is your decision, this is your call, this is where free will comes in. Do you want to keep feeling like shit, or do you want to manifest exactly what you want and celebrate? So it's time to plan a work. Choose your path with the... I know the four of wands is here, but choose your path with the two of swords. Do you want to keep feeling that crap and disappointed with this ace of wands in the reverse over here? I can grab it. Or do you want to take this one and actually put something into action, Pisces, okay? That is your assignment for <laughs> the rest of July, okay? Any other advice from my Pisces? Okay, I'm going to stop talking. New beginning, y'all. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. That's it. Take that one and get to moving, okay? Take this and get to moving. Passion, all right? It's all about the Ace of Wands. All right? I'm going to leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.